In episode three, we want to bring to a conclusion the deer restocking program in the state of Georgia. As we saw in the first couple of episodes, some great efforts were made by great men uh, to ensure uh, that we're able to hunt whitetails today. Chris here with Chris Fowler Outdoors providing you with information and tips to grow your hunting and life experiences. This channel covers product reviews, how-tos, tips, strategies, and hunting videos. Thank you for visiting and please consider subscribing. Uh, there were a few more items out there that uh, needed to be taken care of and uh, one of them was support of the general public. Uh, we're going to talk to you today also about Cahoe Wilderness uh, if, if you're familiar with that area, if not, I encourage you to look it up. One of uh, the state of Georgia's largest management areas. And uh, I want you to listen to how this uh, nearly went south of the whole Cahutta management area. Uh, listen to this report and what it has to say uh, about uh, the opinion of the public in the area. Uh, that's where uh, conservationists need to work hardest today. Uh, back in the day, they were running dogs up there in Cahutta. Uh, they did not have the support uh, of the general public around there. So uh, DNR pulled out, quit stocking, and uh, you know they quickly realized they didn't have any place to hunt. So they welcomed them back uh, in 1968. Uh, the public did. They had the support of the residents in that area on conservation. That's where we're struggling at today, folks. Uh, there is no support for guns. There is no support for hunting. There is no support for uh, teaching uh, young uh, boys and girls uh, uh, the things that we grow up with, the hunting, fishing, camping. Uh, these things are under attack today uh, by a great part of the United States. Uh, it's discouraging. But uh, to do our part today in conservation, it's not a shortage on whitetails. It is a shortage on hunters today and uh, us as uh, sportsmen passing on uh, the, the generation uh, and the things that we were taught that brought us such joy in our lives. Uh, that's the challenge today. That's where cons conservation today uh, needs to be implemented in your area. Uh, listen now as I read. I want to read a few uh, from the report that we've been talking about about the uh, deer restocking program and uh, the Cahutta Wilderness area and listening and, and realizing uh, this could happen today. It says, Georgia's whitetail deer is one of the brightest success stories in modern scientific game management. Deer were virtually extinct and stayed around the turn of the century. They were brought to this low ebb by illegal and excessive hunting and loss of forest habitat to agriculture. The initial deer restocking in the mountains in the late 1920s was closely protected. Thus, they slowly increased uh, due to the rural and urban migration, much of the former cropland since World War II has been let out to grow back in the forest. This return to woodland was augmented by the Whitetail Deer Restoration Program, strict game law enforcement by the Game and Fish Division, especially the Bucks Only Law. Uh, these are some great steps that was made by Game and Fish, restocking, and the public. But listen as it talks about the cut of the wilderness area. It appears in areas there were as little or no local cooperation and public support. Deer herds did not expand. A pertinent example of this factor was the establishment of the Cahutta Wildlife Management Area in northwest Georgia in 1937. Having determined the area to be adequate deer habitat, the commission stopped deer and the area manager was assigned to provide protection and management. It became apparent that these normal procedural precautions were not adequate. However, for the local people, hunted year-round and allowed their dogs to roam and hunt the management area until 1960. As a result, during this period of management, the deer herd never reached its potential. In June 1960, the Georgia Game and Fish Commission abandoned the Cahutta area due to lack of cooperation from the local people. Courts, judges, juries, and the indiscriminate use of dogs for taking deer by hunters. Several years later, the citizens of the area asked the commission to reestablish a management area because they had no areas in which to hunt. Uh, they promised that all regulations would be abided. The cut of management area was reinstituted, reinstituted in 1968 and since in reception. No similar program ever arisen. Think about that today. 
uh, that could be uh, the state of Georgia, that could be the United States. Uh, the courts, the public, and the citizens uh, had no concern at that time, according to this report, for uh, the deer population in the Cahuta Wilderness area. And uh, think about that today. Look what you see on the news about anti-hunters and uh, you know uh, how the perception of many of, a, of a United States citizens today, uh, what they feel about hunting. Uh, I won't say it's the same as what they felt then, but I'm telling you it's a danger uh, to what we do. So I encourage you, uh, let's teach our youth about hunting, fishing, camping. Uh, let's give them the, uh, the uh, encouragement and the experience that we had as young adults coming up and uh, enjoying the outdoors. Uh, that's where conservation, uh, I believe today, is struggling. This is Chris with Chris Fowler Outdoors uh, bringing you uh, episode three, three of three today about the deer restocking program in the state of Georgia. Hope you found it interesting. We'll post a link to the, the uh, uh, report. I encourage you to read about this thing and uh, be active, be vocal uh, in your community. Uh, and let's keep the uh, conservation effort of those that went before us alive today. Chris with Chris Fowler Outdoors. Thank you for visiting.